Okay, we're going to talk about sample spaces, how to use set notation, and then finding the number in a, in a uh, sample set. So here's an example. When a button is pressed, a computer program outputs a random odd number greater than 1 and less than 11. So let's just write the odd numbers. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. But look at what it says. Greater than 1, less than 11. So those are the odd numbers. So in the sample space lives 3, 5, 7, and 9. So that's what it's talking about using. Remember these funny, I say it kind of looks like the profile of Looks like a forehead right there, and this looks like a weird chin, weird nose. Um, they don't have to be perfect, but it's just curve to a point, then curve. I did a horrible job right there, so I should have done curve to a point, then curve. There we go. So that's what it means by... Okay, now... Find the number of possible outcomes using the sample space. So what I would want to see on your paper is a jewelry store sells rings. So here's an example of a ring with either a ruby, a sapphire, or an emerald. Well, how many choices is that? That's three. So when it says find the number, and then this is set notation. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Represent the sample space in using set notation. All right, this is a lot. So I'm going to have to write this small because there are uh, six faces on a die. So in the sample space, you could roll a heads and get a one. You could roll a tails and get a one. Imagine you're going to do that for all of them. So let's do it this way. You could roll a heads and get a two. You could roll a tails and get a two. Heads and get a three. Tails and get a three. Heads, get a four. Roll a four. Tails, get a four. You guys get the idea. And finally, you could roll a heads, roll a six, could roll a tail, or flip a coin, get a tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So represent so this is how you would represent the sample space. That's a great way to do it. And the way that I did it, so you're just seeing. Heads one, tails one. Heads two, tails two. There you go. All right. Now we're going to talk about possible outcomes. All right. So I'm going to actually well, actually I could have left that there. So look at what it's talking about. An ice cream stand offers a single scoop Waffle cone, so waffle cone, not that I draw very well, or a bowl. Again, not that I draw very well. So look at that we have. We have two options, right? Let's call those two events. So we have two events, a cone or a bowl. And now there are four flavors. So there's strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, or mint chocolate chip. Strawberry in a bowl, strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, mint chocolate chip. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight options. There you go. All right, so that's how, so it says find the number 
So you would do this. The number would be 